Well, the reason for the flood, and we, we need to understand this, it tells us is that Noah was pure in all of his generations. What does that mean? You know, why, why would the account, you know, specify pure in all his generations? According to the Bible, God sent the flood because of man's wickedness and corruption. But ancient astronaut theorists believe the flood was actually a means of ridding the Earth of biological imperfections. By using Noah and his family, they could repopulate the planet with a genetically superior species. Part of this human society is again genetically backward, closer to the animal. What can we do? These humans were spread out over the planet. So they said, we have to kill them all by a great flood. And then we have to restart again. Another familiar element in the story of Noah involves the collection of animals brought aboard the ark. In the Bible, God commanded Noah to collect two of every kind of living creature, animal, bird, and insect. But many biblical scholars and theologians agree that such a task would have been both physically and biologically impossible. Could there be another, more scientific explanation? The story of Noah's Ark is pretty implausible if you think about it. You have two animals of each creature on planet Earth on a boat. Not only would the boat have to be huge, but how are you going to collect every animal on the planet and put it on that ship? So could it be possible that Noah's Ark was once again misunderstood technology and Noah's Ark was a DNA bank? Could it be a story? Could it be technology somehow gathering up all living things as in a DNA bank of some kind? It fits together, hard to imagine uh, how that would happen so far back, but if it did happen, it would need to be told as a story, and the story of a boat works. Perhaps this is really an extraterrestrial DNA bank as well. The extraterrestrials, you need plants and animals and minerals on this planet too. Just like when we go to Mars or something, we'll be using what we can use on that planet. So extraterrestrials coming here would want to do that as well. And if they knew that some cataclysm was coming, they too would want to preserve certain kinds of animals and plant life and create, you know, what we think of as Noah's Ark. Alien DNA bank? Is there any evidence that such a thing is even possible? In 2008, on the Arctic island of Svalbard, a vault was built to store the seeds of hundreds of thousands of plants in the event of a global catastrophe. Elsewhere, similar efforts are reportedly underway to store animal and human DNA as well. Cutting edge science, or merely history repeating itself. The Frozen Ark Project is a program that was initiated by the London Natural History Museum. What they've done is they started to store DNA of endangered species for future generations, for preservation. And as of today, over a thousand species have been preserved in small little vials. And so the question arises, could it be possible that Noah's Ark wasn't necessarily a boat made out of wood, but what if Noah's Ark was some type of a DNA storage facility that was used in order to preserve all the species on planet Earth? If each species can be held in a tiny vial like this, then it all becomes very logical. And once again, we have to look at it from a perspective, what did our ancestors try to describe? What did they witness? Aliens artificially inseminating humans. Ancient DNA banks. <laughs> 